Okay. As you guys might have noticed, it's been a little while since I've created a video on my YouTube channel. About 48 days to be exact. As the recording of this video right now, in this video it is a Tuesday, October 22nd, 2013. I don't know when I'll upload this. Hopefully soon. Within a couple days. But yeah, this is a complete channel update I'm doing right now. As you can probably already tell, the video is probably a decent amount of time. Right under maybe 6-7 minutes. I don't know how long this is going to be. But I'm going to take this all in one shot, get everything off the top of my head. And I have some stuff written down here that I also need to say. But there's going to be a lot of things in this video that I will forget. That I will not say. That I will later want to say after I've already watched and done this video. But as of right now, I cannot make skateboard videos. My computer got a virus and... All the clips are saved, all the clips are fine. I still have every single clip, not one clip got deleted, but a vir the, one of the viruses got into my editing software, my Sony Vegas. And I can still edit on there, but it shuts off about every 90 seconds, minute and a half. And you know, I, I even tried it, I saved it every minute and waited for it to shut off and then I went back and like did that for like a strict half hour and made a tiny little video. But in the end result, it won't let me render. And if you can't render a video, you can't make videos. So my computer that's sitting a couple feet off screen, it's only reason it's there is for storage now. I can't make videos off of that anymore. But what I can use is, I now am taking a college class down at this place called Central Campus in downtown Des Moines, Iowa, where I live. And they have a bunch of Macs and editing software there. I'm taking a class called Broadcasting Film and it's, I'm in the film side of it, and it, it's really cool. I'm doing a lot of projects and whatnot, having a lot of fun in there, and basically that's where I'm gonna edit videos now until I later get a laptop, hopefully sometime in the next four or five months, I'll get a laptop, hopefully. But until then, I'm just gonna edit in there, and you know, they do have Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere CS6, and I, I, I really like Final Cut, to be honest. So I, I use Adobe Premiere CS6 from now on, which you'll see from this video. But yes, that's what I gotta say about my computer right now. It's been 48 days since I've uploaded since I've uploaded a video, and you know that, that's that's a long time for me. You know, I usually went, I always uploaded a video every single week if I could. And you know, at one point during the summer, I was uploading a video every five days for about a two month time period, which is really good. In fact, kind of. And you know, I've, and even when I'm still not making these videos, I'm still skating all the time. Although recently it's been kind of hard to balance it since school started, because that's when my videos slacked off and I haven't uploaded since school started. Had to balance school, work, other things, skating, and then filming on top of skating. And you know, I'm I, I'm not gonna say I'm a special skater, but I don't know a lot of people that can skate by themselves for a long period of time over even longer period of time and keep doing it repetitive. You know, I can put in some music, go skate on my street for an hour and a half by myself and I will have a great time. I really don't know many people that can do that, but I'm just, you know, I guess I'm trying to prove a point here that I, I love skating, I'm never gonna quit skating. I really hope I never quit skating. If I do, I'm gonna look back on this channel, look at this video and go, why? Why did you quit skating? Why would you quit skating? That was the worst mistake of your life. Only reason people know me at school pretty much, besides closer friends, is for my skating, which is kind of cool, and my YouTube channel. This video you're watching right now is on my YouTube channel, and the reason most of the people know me, just in general besides family, outside of friends, is my YouTube channel, my skating. I've been skateboarding for three and a half years as of this video. It'll be four years in the middle of January about... February, yeah, be four years in the middle of January about when I first learned to ollie in my basement, which reminds me, I'm about to go skate after this. I have not skated in six days, and it's another one of those things um, that skating puts together that is really cool about skateboarding that no other sport in this world has. I just watched an interview about a week ago on this guy named Andrew Reynolds. If you skate, you know who Andrew Reynolds is. He's a professional skateboarder, and he's owner of the company called Baker Skateboards. And he's really good at skateboarding. He's been skateboarding for, I'm gonna assume, 15 plus years, at least 15, probably around the 20 mark. And you know, the guy's 35 years old. He, he either said 33 or 35 years old. And he said the best part about skateboarding in his life is when he first started, 
He always loved, loved to go out and skate with friends, get tricks, and just film little videos like I do. And he, and he said he was either 33 or 35, and he still does that today. He never quit. He still skates with his friends, and that's the highlight of his life, basically. Going out and skating with friends, and it's just amazing to me. And that's what I want to have. You know, when I'm 30-something years old, I'm hopefully still going to be skating. I'm not going to quit skating, and I guess the main point of this video so far is, you know, I'm still skating. I've had to slack off a lot, but, you know, I'm still getting clips. That, that's another really cool thing. In this past month and a half that I haven't made any videos, I've still filmed. And at the point of time I'm making this video right now, I have never had this much footage stacked on my computer before in the two and a half years of filming that I've done. I made this YouTube channel three years ago in January now. Wait, no. Yeah, three. Three years ago in January. And I've never had this much footage stacked. I have enough clips to make Randy's 5, Almost Skateboard Fail 6, and pretty much a Skate South montage and another side street montage on top of that. It's, it's really incredible. And I've also got other videos in the works too. I, I plan to do a Halloween video because I was trying to make one last year, but I didn't quite get around to it. But I'm going to make one this year. And basically, I, that's pretty much what I have to say about my computer right now. You know, I got so much footage stacked. I'm still filming, just not as much as I used to. Sometimes I wish I could go back to June when I was filming for Skateboard Montage 15. And you know, it, we went out three or four times a week for about a month and a half period. And that was literally probably the highlight of my year in 2013 so far. When we got out of school in June, if you might remember I made a video called Schools Out 2013, it was 20 minutes long, almost 20 minutes long, 19 something. And it was just me and my friends going out and having a skating, and having a bunch of fun, and I was there to record the whole thing. And you know, it was just really cool. That's one of my, that's my second favorite video I've made all year, 2013. First favorite video I made, of course, is Skateboard Montage 15. The way I edited that and filmed a lot of the tricks, especially done by Andrew, I just really liked it. To date, that is still the best video I've ever put out on my channel. Has like 400 something views now, got a lot of good feedback, and the editing I did with that, the tricks I had in it, it just sets the standard kind of for videos to come. It, and I mean by that, by my montages on my channel. You know, you might go look at that and say, yeah, he switched 180 uh, a five or six stair. I don't even know if I did that in the video. Yeah, he switched 180 to five or six stair. You know, you might see me switch 180 a smaller set later in my videos, but it's still gonna be the standard for my montage. And I know I don't make montages quite as frequently as I do. If you've been subscribed to me for probably, I wanna say two years, but my back then I made montages once every two months. And not even that, it, when I first started this channel, I had three montages out in two weeks, which was kind of funny because they were just stuff that I threw together on my flip video camera. As you're watching this right now, I'm on my Canon T4i which is my third camera so far. I went from my Flip to my Sony DCRX 85, I believe, and now my Canon T4i. And I still need to get a fisheye for this. That's another thing that I need to get. Still need to get a fisheye. I had the money saved up at one point, but it's all gone now. But I still need to get a fisheye for this. And then the, a new handle. I don't want to use my old handle, and I still use my other camera. So that's pretty cool. I can get two different angles now, which I did on a trick in Montage 15. Andrew got a line at this. Bench, you did a fakey backside 360 and a fakey Ollie Switch 5.0. Now I have my camera set up in a second angle. And if you go watch the video, it shows it, which that was pretty cool. It's the first time I've ever done that. But yeah, two and a half years, almost three years in this channel. Um, Clean Kings, who would have thought it would have came this far? I got 163 uploads, 248 subscribers as of this video that I'm recording right now, and 62,000 views. Now, when before I first started this channel, and when I even first started this channel, I always knew I was going to get to some point where I was going to have at least over 100 subscribers, you know, over 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 views, but I didn't know how long it was going to take. I knew if I kept at it, I knew I would get there some way or somehow and in some amount of time, but I knew I just didn't quit. You know, I have 163 videos on my channel. Divide that by how many days this channel has been up. 
and it's probably somewhere around, I upload a video every week and a half to two weeks, I would hope, maybe. Yeah, about a week and a half, two weeks maybe, I can't do the math on top of my head, but yeah, I just wanna thank all you for watching these videos, whether you're coming from Facebook, I post all my videos on Facebook for most part, and you know, that's pretty much a no, whole nother advertisement way to get my channel out there, have my own shirts made, wouldn't ever think about that. That was so cool, my friends just kept pushing on me to get shirts and whatnot, and I was, had a couple people push on boards, which I'm, um, eh, boards, eh, too, too much work, honestly, but yeah, I'm good with shirts for right now, but basically, you know, this channel, you know, I've been slacking off, like I've already said twice in this video, but 20 to 30 years down the line, and even now, even now, every couple days, or every week or two, I go through my channel and watch old videos. I can't tell you how many times I've watched Skateboard Montage 15, Schools Out 2013, and tons of basement videos that I've made over the years. It's, you know, quite funny. You know, I, maybe there, one day someone's gonna come to me and be like, dude, Clean Kings, I'm your biggest fan, and I've watched all your videos three times over. But I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's cool and whatnot, but actually, I'm my biggest fan. I've watched all my videos five times over. And I'm 30, 30 years from now, I'm gonna watch this video and be like, damn, look what I did while I was in high school. That's pretty incredible. So, that's pretty much what I'm getting out of this video. What are we going for like 11 minutes now? But that's pretty much all I had to say. I know I forgot some things. Oh, one more. Basement videos this winter. I am gonna make another new trick list that I will post on my wall downstairs and I will make more new trick videos just like I did last year. My new trick videos last year, I stepped it up a lot. Not only the hardness of the tricks, but the camera angles and the editing I used. I added in songs and it was just, a couple of them were just really well. Like the last one I made, I did like Nolly Nose Grind, Switch Frontside 360. The editing I did in that was just cool. You know, I surprised myself all the time with this, but yeah, I don't want you guys to be too long watching this video, so I'm going to let you get out of here, clean kings for life, and I'm going to go skate, although it it did rain outside today, so I'm going to go skate in the basement right now, but you know, it's already October, I'm already skating in the basement, still got like seven more months to go before spring kicks in, well not quite seven, maybe five or six, but yeah, I'm going to go skate in the basement, look forward to the Halloween video and a couple surprises I got in store. Couple surprises. Remember how I told you I had all that footage stacked? Well, I got some surprises. So stay tuned for that. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!